Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make your footage looks like a scene from Duna. But also a simple trick, how to add an object to spice up the whole tape. My name is Adrian and this is Cast Your Memories channel. So first let's create our footage. This is the clip, looks nice but we want the Duna look. So let's jump into color page. You should see only one node. If you don't see the notes panel, click Notes. Now open Gallery and import your reference image. In our case, it's a screenshot from Duna scene. You just drag and drop it to the gallery. Let me open Clips. So this is our clip. There are two others because I have them in the timeline, but this is the one we will call great. So if you select our still and switch to split, you can compare the images side by side. I will import my color grade notes tree. It's really helpful and keep my work clean and systemized. You can also download it from my coffee page for free if you want. Link in the description. Okay, we can close gallery, but before I do it, I will select the Juna screenshot. Okay, right click on the notes panel and clean up note graph. So this is my color grade notes tree. I like to separate steps, exposure, contrast and so on with separate notes. That's a good practice. First thing I always do is setting proper color space. So in the first note, which is color space transform, I open effects and set the correct color space. In this case, it will be rec 709. Okay, so back to our comparison. As you see on the parade graph, we've got different levels of the red, green and blue. I like expand view and keep it on my second screen. So first things first, balance and exposure. Let me open the parade view in this tab so you better see it. Looking at levels, our clip is darker, so we can increase offset. Of course those levels and the shapes will never be exactly the same because we've got two different images. Let me enable spot on the mouse, sorry for that. Yeah, it's better. So again, this image and our clip are different, so the parade will never be exactly the same. But we can monitor the levels. And as you see, we still can increase the offset a bit. The general exposure can also be increased in HDR tab in global settings. Now the levels are more or less the same. Let's proceed with contrast. The reference image is much more contrasty. So in the primaries, I will increase contrast. Maybe I will adjust the curve. Next, saturation. If we switch to vector scope and disable split screen, on vector scope, we now can see only the scopes of our clip. Now, if we go back to split screen mode, we can definitely tell which scopes are ours and which from reference image. So let's increase saturation and observe the scopes. Okay, it's more or less at the same levels. As you see, the reference image is more reddish. Let's try to adjust it on our clip. I will push gain and gamma towards red colors. But really tiny bit. So this is before and after. Let's try to correct the sky. In Duna scene the sky is brighter. So let's correct that in separate note, maybe this one. I will use qualifier and switch to highlight view to be able to see what is actually selected. Okay, let's increase the low control until you see only the sky and increase the L soft. Okay, let's disable highlight and in primaries I will increase the offset. That will impact only the sky. Let's enable split screen and yeah, this is before and after. Okay, so we've color graded our clip. Now let's play with fusion and add a city shape on the horizon. So I'll cut the clip at the moment when the city starts appearing and let's jump into fusion. We need to do some tracking. I will track this bush because it should behave more or less the same way as the image we will integrate. 
So with the media in selected, open selection tool and search for Plana Tracker. And add. In the inspector, click set, change motion type to translation, select the object you want to track, and track backward. I prefer to do it frame by frame, it's more accurate. Now click go and track forward. Once done, click create Plana Transform. Disconnect Plana Tracker, just hold shift and drag it away. Add the city image. I have prepared one beforehand. Let me preview it in the left. It needs masking. We need to get rid of these borders. So with the image node selected, click rectangle mask, set the size, something like that and I will increase soft edge so it better blends with our image. Let me preview the mask so it's better visible. Going back to our city image, looks fine. Now connect it with Planet Transform and merge the whole composition over the media in. We need to position the image so with the image node selected, click the transform node. Okay, click the transform node and in the inspector, correct size and position. Let's make more room between transform node and Plana transform. Click the transform node and from selection tool, add color corrector. In the inspector, in options tab, check pre-divide post multiply so that color correction changes are applied only to the image of the city. In Correction tab, decrease contrast. Yeah, it looks more natural now. And this is it. If you liked it, leave a comment to support my channel. Tap subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers and see you in the next one.